The former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Obadiah Malafia, who was earlier invited by the Department of State Services, DSS, for questioning over an allegation made on the social media, has been released after being held for six hours in their custody. Mr. Badaya, during an online radio interview, alleged that one of the northern governors is the commander of the Boko Haram terrorists. He also allowed uh, to, he was allowed to leave the DSS facility in Jos after meeting up the conditions given for his release by the agency. TVC News, Phnom Joshua reports. Family members, friends, fans and well-wishers of Obadiah Melafia all convert at the premises of the Department of State Services to show their dissatisfaction following his invitation by the DSS. The invitation was so he could answer questions regarding an interview he granted recently to an online radio station where he alleged a northern governor was the commander of Boko Haram. Despite pleas from the security operatives, some of the supporters at the DSS headquarters in Jos refused to leave the premises, insisting that they would not leave until their leader is released. Margaret Obadiah is the wife of the former CBN deputy governor. She calls on the international community to come to the aid of her husband, who she said was only exercising his freedom of speech as enshrined in the constitution. I am very, very upset and I'm very, very sad because I'm not with my husband right now. I'm not actually pleased that he was invited. After over three hours of waiting, Mr. Obadiah's lawyer later came out from the DSS facility and updated journalists and the crowd about the unfolding events. The way they presented it to us is that they wanted him to give an information that would help them. The crowd with their placards after some hours gathered momentum and were chanting for government to stop the killings in southern Kaduna. After six hours in the custody of the DSS, the former CBN deputy governor was finally released to go home amidst celebration by his supporters. He then addressed journalists on the ground. I appreciate the DSS as well. They treated us very well. They treated me very well. They were very gracious. All these killings must stop. Although the DSS let him go, they say he will be summoned back when the need arises. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.